Papa Pepper, the world's hottest Caribbean pepper. All right, guys, Papa Pepper here with just another pepper review. This one's another interesting one because I picked it up at the grocery store when it was just a little seedling. These plants should get about two to three feet tall in the end. And this guy's about eight inches. He's about a foot. But you can see he's already got two ripe fruit on him. So that's what we're looking for. That's what's going to make us happy, even though he's only eight inches tall. Uh, that's going to work. Now this pepper, um, I never heard it before, but it's a trademark pepper. So it says, it says it is the world's hottest trademark Caribbean pepper. Um, does that mean it's the hottest pepper? Does that mean it's the... No, it means that's the trademark. Kind of like if you drive through Branson, Missouri, you'll see a sign for Pierce Arrow, and it'll say Branson's hottest show. Well, that's just the registered trademark. It really doesn't mean anything. And it's got a description on the back. It says, uh, Chef Jeff's world's hottest trademark Caribbean pepper. You be the judge. This is the world's hottest Caribbean pepper that you can cultivate at home. It is more than twice as hot as the standard habanero pepper. The fiercely hot wrinkled fruit tapers to a blunt point and turns from green to red when ripe. The pungent aroma or the pungent hot aroma will explode like fireworks in your mouth when you take a bite. Yeah, you guys looking forward to that? It says the inch and a half long and inch wide pepper creates intense heat in salsas, marinades, salads, cooked dishes, or when you're making your own hot sauces. The Caribbean red hot pepper matures in 110 days, height two to three feet, Chef Jeff. So my deal here is, well, first of all, habanero peppers, they start off about 100,000 Scoville heat units, and they get up to 350,000 Scoville heat units. This one here says it's at four, uh, 400,000 Scoville heat units. So it's actually only like 50,000 Scoville heat units hotter than the hottest habaneros. Now it says more than twice as hot as a standard habanero. So I guess standard habaneros are about 200,000. I don't know. Like I said, there's a, there's a range that those peppers fall into. Um, these I bought just because I'm like, hey, they're nice little seedlings here. It's late in the season. Doesn't look like anyone's going to buy them. I'll pick them up. They're cheap. I've never met this guy before. We'll give it a try. And I do like things like a like the Fatales, like the Ghost Peppers, like the uh, Carolina Reapers, that type of stuff. So we got two fruit here. And uh, uh, here's one. It's not exactly the full size, um, but what is it? It's red, so that lets me know it's, it's ready. And it is a wrinkled little guy. So you guys getting ready? You guys want to try it? Oh, we'll see what happens with these peppers going forward. Um, I think they're going to be a great one for drying. I think they're going to be a great one for some salsas. I really like making a, a green ghost salsa where I use uh, tomatillos and stuff in them too. So we'll give this a go and uh, I'll let you know how it tastes. Mm, it said too to wear gloves. Um, so far, it's got a slight flavor of that habanero kind of uh, pepper. And there's a little heat keeping creeping in. We're gonna get that nice part with the uh, the seeds on it here. It's a crunchy, juicy, rich pepper. Mmm. Well, I'll tell you what. There may be some better ones coming off of that plant this year, but as far as heat, at the moment, that was not even hotter than a habanero. Now, we had just had some good rains and stuff. Maybe it's a little diluted. Maybe. But, uh, oh, we'll have to try one later. It has a heat. But it's nothing like I would expect from like a like a Trinidad Maruga. That's a way hotter pepper from 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 the Caribbean, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, when you're dealing with ghost peppers and stuff like that, you know they're getting over a million Scoville heat units. This guy's less than half of that. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm desensitized. Oh, maybe I'm not sensitive enough. But uh, I mean, is a good pepper? Yeah. Is it something I'm going to worry about? Uh, not quite. Um, it's a good snack right now. But, uh, hmm, 
I'm a little a little disappointed. I'm not sure what happened there. You know what? Maybe maybe it was me trying to be a sissy because I'll tell you what. There was a bigger one, right? There was a bigger one. I went for the small one. Should we try that one? You know what? I'm going to take a quick photo for the thing and I'll get right back with you guys. We'll try the big one. All right, guys. Like I said, maybe that was operator error. Maybe it was me going for the little one. I don't mean to play you like that. I was just going to save the bigger one for seeds in case nothing else came out because you want the best genetics in the next generation. But we'll say some are going to come out anyway. Let's give this a try. Okay. Bigger one now. I don't know. I've got no milk here. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Right. Down in my garden. We'll figure it out. Hmm. Hmm. That's it's similar to the first one actually. Not, okay, there's a little stinging in my throat right now. A little good heat creeping in, but uh, but nothing fantastic. Normally uh, when I run like online pepper competitions where people got a video of themselves eating a pepper, I tell them to, you know, keep recording for, I don't know what it is, three minutes after they eat the whole pepper or something like that. Because then some of the effects come in, some of the heat becomes unbearable, that type of thing. And <laughs> Yeah, that's not where we're at right now. So, huh. all right, do I like it? Yeah, is it a hot pepper? Yeah, uh, do I think it's worthy of the trademark? That doesn't matter, does it? Because once you trademark it, it's, it's yours. It's yours, but I would strongly contest that it's actually not the world's hottest Caribbean pepper. I've met a lot of peppers from the Caribbean that are much hotter. And actually, if you guys are uh, familiar, Baker Creek sells a pepper called Eros Campoyo, which really means, you know, rice with chicken and uh, there's a Trinidad perfume and there's some other ones where you've got these wonderful peppers that have all the flavor of a habanero or a Trinidad pepper or stuff like that that are normally really hot peppers but they've got none of the heat um, those are some really cool peppers they're uh, a lot of fun I really enjoy them um, when I'm just looking for the flavor and not the heat trying to make something child friendly or something like that this one's not really there um, it does have some heat but, you know, honestly, I've eaten jalapenos that I've had more of like, ooh, you know, a spiciness with. So I'm not sure what's up with these guys. But new pepper, like I said, they, they are they are tasty. So, all right, guys, that's my uh, world's hottest trademark Caribbean pepper review. Baba out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper. And I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steemit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.